Ricky, Jason. Yo, Roland, you're behind the scenes today. Roland is back. I'm back behind the camera. Oh no, I gotta go now. <laughs> Yo, come back. All right, what do we got today? So guess what? Our friends are Rocket today. They got another one. Are you ready to see what it is? I'm ready to see. Oh, we got something special from our boys again. Okay. All right. Well, this is different. We have Roland on the other side this time. <laughs> Can you guess what that is? Uh, well, judging from the shape, I think we got another mouse. Could be another mouse. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's, Let's unwrap. unwrap. Boom. Another one sent by our one and only boys, our German boys from across the world, Rocket. Well, we had the cane last week, so now we got the cone this time around. They've been making this stuff since 2007. I haven't heard about it until 13 years later. This is their final form right here. We got the Rocket Cone Pure Ultra today. Look at that. The top is shiny. <laughs> You see that? Well, I mean, it looks very similar to the other uh, Rocket product packaging, but I do notice this right here. Can you see that? That is different and there's a reason for it. All right. Well, I guess let's check out what's inside. Right away I can tell the wire seems to be very long actually. Here we have nice little packaging here. Quick installation guide. Dude, they never forget to put this in here. It's like almost the, the length of like a giant ass snake. <laughs> Five PP. I'm only doing this because Jason likes those shiny stickers. Let's see. Really cool. You don't know what a mouse looks like or how a mouse works. There's that many pages. And now. Oh, this is, oh, this is actually extremely light. Look at this. A nice smooth matte black finish. I do notice right off the bat, this is a very skinny mouse. It's weird though, because like usually ultra light mouse, like there's like a honeycomb design. It's not completely glossy, but it does have a little bit of a shine to it right there on every single side of the mouse. This is what they actually call their revolutionary performance coating. And it's designed to provide you grip while also being dirt proof. So if you're made of dirt, I don't think you can use this mouse. I have, my hands are really sweaty right now. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, so it's gonna be a clean mouse. But look at this, no marks at all. How's the grip? I feel like it's really smooth though. I don't, I'm not sure. It, it's very nice to hold. It's very comfortable to hold, that's for sure. But look at that, no stains, nothing at all. I feel like I, I could use it for hours. Wait, isn't this the mouse that uh, Mr. Savage used? Yeah. So you got us another piece of uh, Mr. Savage's gear. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he did win recently. Savage is your champion of DreamHack Anaheim in a fashion I don't think I've ever seen. And that was like two weeks ago from today. And that's the mouse he was using when he did win. That's the mouse right there. Well, Rocket, this one doesn't have a honeycomb design, but when you put it in your hands, it actually feels just as light. They actually do, but it's inside. Oh, it's inside. Oh, that's sweet. So you get the benefits of a honeycomb design without the ugly looking holes all over the mouse. I feel like uh, Mr. Savage, he's just a god in general. You throw him on any shooting game, he knows what he's doing. This mouse though, there's gotta be a reason why he chose something like this. Yeah, it's actually, it's, honestly, it's surprisingly light. It is actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna get tricked this time. I know those aren't blue mouse feet. Those are actually just covers for the mouse feet. <sighs> yes. So there we have it, two covers, so two mouse feet. It's a very glossy, reflective black mouse feet. Mouse foot, mouse feet. So I do notice right here, this is more like a, an aesthetic thing. I really like it. There's a little glossy plastic that goes around all of the top buttons here. And look at that, it just gives it a little more, more sass, you know? And there we have the owl eye that Rocket calls it. And for those wondering, it's based off the Pixar 3389 and it can go up to 16K DPI. Very nice. Very nice. Instead of the one DPI button, this goes with two. So you can cycle up and down with ease and you won't have to go through like five different levels if you're looking to switch DPI. Oh, it actually says that too. It says Rocket Owl Eye Sensor 16K on the sensor itself. You know, Rocket always has these amazing feeling scroll wheels. And I'm pretty sure this has got to be one of their... Uh, 2D Titan Clicks. Uh -huh, that's right. Oh, oh, it feels, it actually feels super nice. Known for being exceptionally crispy and quick, this is their 2D Titan wheel. I want you to listen to that. It's actually very tactile, and it's actually surprisingly loud for a scroll click. It's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. 
I do notice as well, the shape of this mouse is tapered very obviously to one side. If you look at it here from the top, you can see that it kind of tapers off towards the left. And to complement that, they also do have this nice little comfort groove here. And this is for your thumb, uh, not ambidextrous. Sorry, anyone who's left-handed. This does feel super amazing in my right hand. Can you use a left though? This just feels, that just feels wrong. So we've covered a lot of rocket mouses in the past. How does this one compare? So this does feature the same 2D Titan wheel, the same performance coding from what I remember. The only thing that makes this one stand out is that this is the Ultra Edition. So if you're looking for uh, a light mouse for like FPS games and you just want the quick action minus the extensive side buttons, this would probably be the kind of mouse for you. All right, so you know what we do now? To the test station. <laughs> to the test station. Yo, it's actually so light. You see the groove right there? I love the groove. 150 people in the lobby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, that's a nice mass stack, I guess. Oh my god, how can he see anything? G8023 is your squad leader. Oh, oh. 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 oh shit. <laughs> Amazing purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Crack and armor for days. A hundred people are dead. All my team. Oh yeah, no, uh, no, no. I don't even know if it's a good idea to carry this sniper. It's for the montage. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> Dude, I like the move. Dude, this guy knows what he's doing. I'm with you, buddy. Yeah, this place kind of looks nice. It's like Deer Hunter 2007. There's, there's still one more. Oh no. Oh, oh, he got them both. That's my boy. <laughs> Look at the ace. Oh, oh. down. That's the last one, last one. Hit him with the montage sniper. Yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yo, okay! Here, check this out. <laughs> Come on, boy! I hit him! <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I have to reload. <laughs> he melee him? Oh. oh, no! It's like unwrap more like uninstall this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude. What's up, bro? He doesn't have a mic. I'm just saying, let's just. This man is a banana scam. Shut up. Wait, what the heck? Wait, this feels like a sweaty game. Hit him with the. It's a shark, but you're a banana. Do sharks even have potassium like a banana do? Oh, he got off without telling us. I'm fast. Boy. See, going by ones. It's going by ones. It's not going to go fast. It's going by ones. If it was going by fives. Then I would have told you. And he got the best got the basketball going on. He got the basketball for that. Welcome back. Okay. So what did you think of the Cone Pure Ultra? You know, it's actually a pretty sick mouse. It almost felt like I was just playing with air almost. <laughs> it was crazy. What can I say? You saw the gameplay. I got slapped in both games. I couldn't pull out a win, but you know what? This is a good mouse right here. I think with just a bit more practice, I feel like this can prove to be something. It's also nice because usually with ultra lightweight mouse, you feel like the holes can get uncomfortable at times. I can see why someone like Mr. Savage uses it because a game like Fortnite is so hectic, you need quick movements. And that 66 grand for such a small form factor, like you feel like you have such insane control. It's a very smooth surface and it's a very comfortable feel throughout the entire time. Yo Rocket, thanks for sending that. But now the real question is, how much does this cost? Well, if you guys want to find out, as usual, all the links will be in the description below. Oh, and yeah, let us know what you guys want us to unwrap next.